All right, they scared me. They just scared me. Are they all named Shelby? Look. They all have the same name. Interesting. I just picked up a really awesome donation from one of my viewers. Thank you so much. And I was just down the street from Goodwill. So here I am. I'm going to go in and see what goodies they have in store today. Let's go. Spot this little kitty cat. Oh, that is a Joseph Originals. It's a $3.99. It was a bank. I don't see any damage except for the stopper missing, so yeah, I'll get you. This is really pretty, but unfortunately, it's got a big crack. Oh, it's pretty too. But with just one, not a lot I can do with that. I do like this little saying for 99 cents. It's a good start already. I don't think that's very old. Oh, you know what? I think that goes together. I think. Does that go on that? Kind of looks like it goes together, huh? Kinds of little trinkety stuff here. Oh, the ghost. The ghost in here. She just brought this little guy out and he's he's too cute. He's signed. Right there. But look how adorable he is. We'll take him home. And here on the bottom shelf, I spotted these in this nice little case until I saw that they say 2000 So that won't do. Ooh, that is, that's heavy. We had it for $20 down at their antique mall booth. I spotted a whole bunch of this. It just says contemporarypottery.com. Huh, that's not a very appealing name. And then there's a little, little fuzzy sheep. What's this? This is made in German Democratic Republic. Ooh, what time period is that? I do not know. What? It's pretty, but it's not real fine porcelain. So I'm not, I'm gonna have to look up when that was made though. Oh, here's these little country, country bumpkins. Is that what they're called? Bumpkins. Yes, by George Good. They're $5.99 each. Can't do that, but let's get this little Grammy up here too, so they can all be together. It's kind of nice. Signed Mary Mowgli? Mowgli? I think that says. Let's pick that one up. All right, let's see anything down here. I do not see anything exciting. This is one of those, this is Hollywood. It's the Hollywood star. I don't know if you can see that. One of those little laser, laser guys. Oh, that is very broken. Oh, that's Winnie the Pooh. I'm just not a big Pooh fan. Ooh, a little prettiness. It's very, very new. Yep, home goods. Too bad though. It's very purple. Would have been good in the purple sale. Oh, look. There's more of these. Might have to look up and see what these things are going for. These ones don't have prices, but we'll get the family all together there. This is broken. This is a more contemporary piece of yixing. 
but it's very broken. That's too bad. It's a cute teapot. It's, it's modern. As, well, is this modern? This looks like Polish. It's been fooling me lately though. Some of the Polish and the Chinese glass are, I mean the Chinese are, are reproducing the Polish glass patterns. So that one does not appear to be high quality. And just like that, it's Christmas time again. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Let's see if anything stands out in the Christmas department. Oh, you know how I like my fake food. Now these are like the plastic. These are the ones like kids use in little toy kitchens. So those are not the ones I'm looking for. I'm looking for the ones that like look very, very real. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice uh, for my flower arrangement bases. So I'm gonna pick that up for that, not for, not for resale. All right, I spotted this little angel right here who appears to be vintage. You know, she's made in Taiwan. She's really cute. She doesn't have a price. I'm sure she'll be okay though. made in China and they're ceramic not you actually want the plastic ones that's gonna be the Fontaninis made in Italy This is really kind of a pretty tray. It's $10. I don't think it's old though. That's the thing. Yeah. There's made in China. It's really nice though. It's just a big item that I'd have to take down to the booth and I'm not even going to get down to the booth this week. So we'll pass. They're priced separately. That always kills me. They're cool though. This one's a little, a little beat up. I'm not sure what you do with that. It's a cute thing, but what is its purpose? It doesn't even really have a place to like hang it. I'm confused. Okay, I found this bougie girl. <laughs> Ladies with Elegance collection glass ornament. She is $3.99. Well, she's pretty cool, so we'll get her. Also found this this is like one big old spray of flowers which I love and then they've got some pink carnations for 
99 cents a little bundle. So yeah, I'll get those. I found another one of those too. So I guess it's time to get my flower arrangements going again. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the vases and the flower pots. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm feeling the quality when I'm doing this. I'm feeling the quality. You'll learn to tell the higher quality. Like, I can just look at this and know this is not high quality. This one's a little better quality. But even that, it's not. It's better than the one below it, but it's... This is a... That's Chinese-made glass as well. So I don't see anything that's really standing out for me here. I mean, there's some cute stuff, but nothing super high quality, which is what we're looking for. Ooh, those are glued in there. And they're loading the shelves while I'm here, which I always, always love. Love seeing that stuff first. These look like candle wick. They are candle, candle wick plates, which I just don't really deal in those. But they're nice. All right, nothing, nothing here. Look at this sweet little basket. Look at that little guy on there. Made in the Philippines. I kind of like that. Let's see, how much are you? How much are you? What was the determining factor? Five ninety nine. Do I like him $5.99 worth? But unfortunately, the basket has some damage, and that's what's causing me to hesitate. I just, I think there's too much damage on the basket for me to pay that much. I think I could sell this for like 10 to 12 down at the booth, but I can't pay six to do that. So I'll have to leave him behind. Then I spotted this under here. This is really interesting. Oops, if I can get it. Oh. Okay, it's heavy. Okay, it's $6.99, so the price is right. I just gotta see if I can figure out. Oh, it's got some age on it, doesn't it? It's a made in China, though. So it's not like, you know, some mid-century score. Let me back up so you can see it's a skyline wall hanging, and I would have to sell that at the booth, and it takes up a lot of space. So because of that, I'm going to leave it behind. All right, we're in the dishes. You know I'm a looker. i got to look at everything. Even if it doesn't totally excite me, I still have to look. I think that's how I learn is I just, I look at everything. Put my hands on everything. And that is how will you, how you will learn, you know, quality, not quality, the different feels of pottery. Like I can tell these are art pottery bowls. Just, there's nothing super exciting about them. This is an interesting dish. Would have had a lid. Who is it? It's Country Cooker, made exclusively for the Amana Radar Ranges, Western Stoneware. All right. Well, that's interesting. And this bowl set is it's nice. Three-piece nesting bowls. But uh, there's no who done it on that one. That would definitely have to be a booth item. I just am getting to where I just don't want to ship that stuff. Oh my goodness, I had so many of these at one point and it took forever to sell them. So no more, no more. There's a leaf. I don't know who that's by. Oh, it's from Albertsons. <laughs> 
Ooh, we've got corn. Uh, I don't know who does the white ones. Who does the white ones? They are seven dollars for five of them. I think I'm gonna pass because I just don't know. Because I just don't know. There's another one of those little sheepies. I might have to take him over to his friend. Oh, look, there's more corn. So this is a sign. This is a sign that they're not like rare or valuable because there's so many on the shelf. But I will pick up these if they're not too expensive. These, um, these are Soma Yaki or Soma Wear. And they do well if you sell them in sets. You can see on the inside, they're made in Japan. And they have this little kind of 3D effect and this on purpose crazing and yep I see the other one sitting over there so I will go ahead and pick these up. Alright, finishing up on these shelves. I don't see anything else that's really calling to me. No. no. These are kind of cool. Hi, these are actually I really kind of like these, like for me, not for resale. Oh, the goodies you could put in those. And they're $5.99. Mmm. I might have to think about that. Might have to think about that. are interested. I see two of these so it makes me take a closer look but once I get my hand on them you can see the seam right there they got a seam and they just don't feel good so back you will go and we will continue our journey What does that say on there? That says Lamp Light Farms. I think it's meant to be like a little oil lamp fish. He's a dollar ninety-nine. He is super fragile, but he's also super cool. Let me see if I can get to where I want to get to where you can see him a little better. There he is. You know, I have passed these up in the past and then researched and found that these black stemmed glasses do pretty well. And let's see, there's one, there's just two, but that's okay. I think I will pick up the pair of these at, actually they're half price, so it's only a dollar for the pair. All right, we are on to the coffee mugs. It's always a little tougher when there's so many of them all crammed on the shelf like this, like they're just stacked, stacked on top of each other. So we have to be careful and move things. This is really crazed and used. Berenstein Bears for $1.99 in really good condition. We'll pick that one up. What is this? It's got fish on it. It's a Sakura. Nothing too exciting. 
look down here on the bottom. Nothing. All right, they scared me. They just scared me. Are they all named Shelby? Look. They all have the same name. Interesting. Look at this sweet old table. I really wish I knew more about refinishing. Look at $9.99. Yeah, it's got it's got some pretty major boo-boos here, but it's so a solid piece. I'm going to flip it over and see if it's got a name on it. There's the mark. I don't know what that mark is, but I think it's a good mark. There's the bottom. So I think we're going to get this. Look at this little thing. I mean, it's, it's a little crusty. Look at all these in here. 1985. Let's see if anything else has a date on it. Like they put all their little show tickets in here. Kind of cool. 1987, 1985. So, $24.99. No, I'm not going to get it. It takes up too much space for what I'm doing, but it's a cool piece. What is this? It's a little, it's a garden cart, like a lawn buddy for $5.99. This is awesome. Look at this, it opens up. Pulls all our gardening stuff. Yep, we're taking that. Okay, and a little owl. He's really cute. He's not old, but he's really a nice lamp for ten dollars. Look at oh, I don't even know what I did. I made myself bleed. I had something about this I really like, and I'm sure I can get at least twenty for him down at the booth, and maybe a little more. So I'm gonna pick him up. I think this little lampshade that's half off, so it's only two dollars, will go on that. Just perfect. Just found this for 99 cents. It is made in Italy. And it's got really pretty colors. And I do believe it is vintage. So for 99 cents, I'm gonna pick that up. But I also found this little baby quilt that appears to have quite a bit of age on it and it is all hand stitched. It's $3.99. It's a little dull in the color, so I'm gonna give it a good soak and see if we can liven it up a little bit. But either way, it's a nice piece. Got this little guy too. Realistic looking plush. Always good. He's Animal Alley, he's Pug Carlin, and he's $3.99. He's just cute. I was just making another pass through and I found a Pirates of the Caribbean mug, but not the Disney version. These are like the real Pirates of the Caribbean. And it is $1.99 and we will get that. This Goodwill takes care of me. I can fix my boo-boo now. All fixed, crisis averted. Oh my goodness, and then I'm going to check out, and I see this, so I'm going to buy a box of these and keep them handy. This cat kind of threw me. I did not expect it to be a Joseph Originals. I have found a couple similar of these bangs that are Joseph Originals, but not a cat. They were selling for $25 to $30, so I think that's what I'll turn my $3.99 purchase into. I bought this sign to keep and put behind my desk because this is one of the things I say all the time. There's nothing that can't be solved, no problem that we can't figure out a solution to. Everything is figure outable. Let's do it. This adorable little guy was the talk of all of the Goodwill employees as I was grabbing him off the shelf. He was $1.99 and I'm going to sell him for $12 to $15. I was able to find one other comp for Mary Mobley Pottery. It sold for $30. So I'm going to turn my $4.99 purchase into $30. This adorable little angel bell, they sold it to me for $1.99.
which is not bad. I'm going to save her and put her in my Christmas in July themed sale coming up in July. I found that these Ladies with Elegance collection glass ornaments sell in the $20 to $25 range. I paid $3.99. I'm always picking up the Soma Wear or Soma Yaki Wear when I find them. They're pretty interesting. They come with tea sets and if you have a collection of them, they sell really well. They're not super high dollar, but they're an easy sell through. So I paid $2.99 times three and I will get 25 to 30 for this set of three. This very dainty little oil lamp in the shape of a fish is made by Lamplight Farms. Doesn't sell for as much as I thought it might, 10 to $15, but I only paid $1.99. So what I found is there's different makers of these black stemmed glasses. These particular champagne flutes are made by Luminarch and they're not on the high end. But I only paid a dollar for the pair, and I will be able to sell them for $15 to $20. Berenstein Bears are still somewhat popular. I paid $1.99 for this mug that will sell for $10 to $12, but I'll probably sell it down at the booth just because it's a lower price point. This owl lamp just has a really nice look to it, and even though it was $9.99, I should be able to turn that into $25 to $30, especially since I found the lampshade that will go on it perfectly, and that was only $2. So I'm happy with this. I only paid $0.99 cents for this beautiful scarf from Italy. It should bring $12 to $15. Handmade baby quilts go for some really good money. Now this one, just, I don't know if it's meant to be this pastel, but I'm going to try to give it a nice soak, freshen it up, and see if those colors come out a little more. They might not. Even if they don't, this is a $40 to $50 baby quilt that I paid only $3.99 for. Realistic plush, especially cute little pugs, sell for really good money, like $15 to $20 for a used plush. I only paid $3.99 for this cutie. Arg! I was hoping this mug was worth more than the $10 to $15 that I found it's worth, but that's okay. I only paid $1.99. Okay, I found some good stuff. I found way too much stuff for myself though. I got some little patio lights that I have been wanting for a very long time, but I refused to pay full price for, and I got them for $5 a box. So I'm super happy about that. I got the little gardening wagon that I am determined to use and get my money's worth out of that. And I bought that table. I think that's a really good table. I mean, I'm going to have to like do a little research, but I knew enough to know it looks very mid-century and it's constructed very well. So I don't think I can go wrong at $10, even with the damage that I'm going to try to figure out how I can fix. If you go, hey, if you know how to fix that, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. All right, but I do have to drive around the back and go pick up my little table because they couldn't let furniture go out the front door. <sighs> okay, so I got a car full. Uh, I got to go pick up my table and I got to get home and get ready because I have a trip I'm making this weekend. I did reveal that on my live yesterday, that I am going back to San Diego, and I'm going to do some fun stuff with my daughter, and Rachel's going, and we're going to go to the zoo this time. So we're going to have a, like a girl's trip, and I'm looking forward to doing something pretty special on Friday for my live. Now, I'm not going to do a jewelry sale this week, but I will be live at 1 o'clock, and you won't want to miss it, because I'm going to be live from the road at a super secret location. So put that on your calendar. 1 p.m. Pacific time on Friday is my target. <laughs> Maybe a little, little before, a little after. So be sure you are subscribed and have the notification button set up so that you will be alerted when I do go live because I will be going live. So I got home and I couldn't wait to research the maker on this table. And as I suspected, it is a Haywood Wakefield. Yay! This is mid-century 
all the way. Let me flip around, show you this little baby. Okay, of course I have it upside down in my car at the very moment, but uh, the way I found this was I researched Eagle, Eagle Mark, Furniture Eagle Mark. And that really does say Haywood Wakefield. You can kind of make it out now that you know what it is. You can see the H, see the H, see the W, Wakefield, see it now. Yes, oh, I'm so excited. And there it is. I, my, my indicators on this were the styling of the legs, the shape of the legs, the type of wood used. I do believe this is teak. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. And just the overall appearance is very mid-century. Uh, it's got, you know what? That's gonna click, you know what? Somebody had a bird. That's bird doo-doo. I happen to know that will clean off. We have experience with that. Uh, but this bit of damage over here is what I have to figure out how to fix. These are like some deep, pretty deep gouges. I think this will sand down and I would have to like maybe restain it. But this I'm not, I might have to use like a little putty or something in there. Or I may sell it at a discount as is because as you know, I only paid 10 bucks for it. So I'm super excited. And if you look at it, look at it from this side, you don't see that damage. So I might not do a whole lot to it. And I may just, I don't know, there's part of me that just wants to keep it because it's super cool. Um, but I will sell it. I'll sell it down at the booth and I'll sell it for really good money. All right. With that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.